I have been having problems with the capacitive touch sensitive buttons on these looking glass portraits and I finally figured out the cause of them. So I originally got one and the top button didn't work so they sent me a new one and all the buttons on the new one worked just fine. You know you could go back and forth and do the modes for about a month and then I noticed a button on it had failed. So I sent them a video of that and they sent me a different unit. So the new unit arrived, has the demo things on it, and when I got it, none of the buttons worked. And they were, of course, but we checked that unit before we sent it to you. And then I sent them a video of the buttons not working, and so they sent me another unit. So I got this unit, and the buttons were intermittently working, although right now they are not working. Um, and so <laughs> I sent them a video of that, and um, they were like, well, the only thing that's common between all these is that power jack right there, so maybe there's a problem with your plug. Um, so I thought, well, maybe they're right, although I have been running my washing machine off of it for years, and it's worked fine. So I plugged in the uh, kilowatt meter to take a look at it, and it's, you know, somewhere between 110 and 113 volts AC, which is pretty common for the range of the U.S. Um, and then I looked at the hertz rating, and it's, you know, 59.9 or 60 hertz. Um, and so I thought, well, you know, that thing should be fine, but maybe it is a problem with the power. Maybe these power supplies are having problems. So this guy right now is drawing 7.6 watts, which is about the same as that one draws. Um, so it seems like it's drawing enough power. But let's try a different USB-C power delivery um, adapter. Specifically, this one here that came with my phone. So you can see that top button's working, and the bottom button is working, and this guy here. Let's me play and pause, or press and hold and get loop, or press and hold and get pause. Or, well, if you press and hold, it'll do the, uh, there, no loop. Um, there's a little bit of intermittent flakiness, just a tiny bit of it doesn't respond to every single touch perfectly, but it's doing a pretty good job there, certainly better than it was before. Um, so this guy's doing better. It's drawing 7.2 watts, so it's drawing about the same amount of power. So I don't know if it's not able to get enough power at the low voltage. Um, with these guys, they're rated down to 100 volts. It's 100 to 240, but obviously if you give them 240 volts, they don't have to work as hard. Um, or it might be the switching frequency of their step-down converter um, changes, and that switching frequency messes up the capacitive sensor system here. I don't know, you know, the exact details. Um, but you can see with the USB phone charger, it mostly works. Um, I have noticed like sometimes it doesn't react quite as well as I'm used to, but it seems to be mostly working. Although the last time I tried this, I used the actual phone charger cable. So it's a possibility also that this cable is less than ideal. So we're going to use the cable that came with my phone here. So it's still not perfect, but it's mostly working. Right? Well, this guy here was, there it goes, it detects it eventually. Back, forward. Of course, now it's not working, but this charger and this cable had caused all three of these to work last time I tested it. Oh, 
111.9 volts, 60 hertz. That worked, that worked, that worked. Hmm. Well, I thought it was all due to power. Let's try a different unit. That works, that works, that works. So this is this is the behavior here I would expect. The buttons on that one were a little bit flaky, although they were mostly working. So it might be that that particular unit was a little more susceptible. But you know, this one's working fine with this cell phone power adapter. I'm going to go back, use the adapter and cable that came with it. Note we've gone up to 113 volts, 112.9, so the voltage fluctuates up and down here and there. All right, back, forward. Well, now that button's not working forward button is mostly working. Sometimes I touch it and it doesn't do anything, but most of the times if I do a long press, it's working. But I can tap it and nothing happens. If I push and hold with the full tip of my thumb, it's mostly working. Although this, well, the bottom button, I can't get to activate. But these guys, if I push and leave my thumb on it, well, there we've got a flash. So as you can see, it's intermittently working at 112.8 volts up there with the provided power adapter. But with the cell phone power adapter, All three buttons work much more reliably. So it's definitely a power issue that can be resolved by replacing, I think it's mostly the adapter. I don't think the problem is with the cable, although let me swap the cable out and see. All right, we're using the provided cable with my cell phone power adapter. Wait for the logo to disappear. So yeah, the buttons are working as I expect. So it's really these guys here. Um, looks like you know these two have serious issues. This one over here mostly works most of the time, but I've had it have trouble with, you know, one of the buttons goes off. So, you know, this one here is better than those over there, but not by a whole bunch. So if you're having problems with the capacitive touch sensors on your looking glass portrait, um, one thing to check is the power adapter. Try swapping in a different power adapter, plugging it into a computer. If you have a USB-C power supply on your computer, um, get a laptop charger or a good name brand power adapter and in my case, that has fixed most of my issues, although this guy here was still a little bit flaky. Let me go back to that one. All right, this is the most flaky unit with the known working power adapter that works well with those two units. And we're at 112.3 volts right now. So these buttons are mostly working. Every so often I'll tap and nothing happens, but if you like leave it there um, and tap until you see a flash and push push hard, there well, I got a double flash there. Um, they're mostly working, a little bit of debouncing issues, but all the buttons work. So you know this unit is a little bit 
touchier or not as responsive, but it's mostly working with the good power adapter that works well with those guys. Um, so, you know, the power adapter may not be everything to have to do with this issue, but it looks like the power adapter is probably the main culprit here. So, that's what I found.